The eschatology. Your hoodie is a new jacket. Hello, I'm your host, Brady Stevens, and welcome to the first episode of A Morning of Eschatology. Since the year two 2020, we have seen a lot of crazy disasters that, have, that is, have happened simultaneously at once. And now many people are wondering, could Jesus be coming back soon? Here uh, with me are some people to talk about a particular passage in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 24 that brings some startling re uh, revelations to the question. Help me in welcoming our guests. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Alice. Welcome, welcome. For our first sign, the Antichrist, according to the Bible, many will come and deceive many, saying, I am the Christ. Any thoughts? Well, while we don't see the term Antichrist until 1 John 4, 3, the idea is that we will see many people from different religions giving claim that they are savior of sorts, potentially offering political and religious relief. Yes, yes, moving on to the next sign. Wars, rumors of wars, nations rising against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. Any thoughts? Obviously, this verse indicates multiple conflicts, civil, political, and geographical. So we should be seeing a rise in conflict between nations and conflict between races. Hmm. Our final sign for our first episode, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes. I'd like both sides to cover this point. All three of these elements affect the economy. Famines will devastate our food supply and pestilences will destroy our labor force, while earthquakes lead to increased damage to infrastructures and roads. Hmm. Well, any one of these signs is enough to cripple a nation. Mm -hmm. This will be a global level that is impacting economies everywhere. Ultimately, these first three events are just the beginning of sorrows. These signs might be terrifying, but they all point to hope that is Christ and his second coming. Tune in next time as we cover more of the signs of Jesus. Return here uh, on a morning of eschatology. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. <laughs> We're so excited that you're here. <laughs> and praise God, too, for keeping us safe in the end times, if it's truly here. Amen. It's going to be a wild ride. Amen. <laughs> and if you have any other questions, feel free to call in and ask. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Um, who do you guys think the Antichrist will be? <laughs> for sure, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos? Absolutely. Oof. Yeah. That's a hot take. <laughs> Maybe, but we're all about hot takes on a morning of eschatology. And the mark of the beast? Mark of the beast is uh, the, the old chip in the hand. Ah, uh, chip in the course. hand, chip in yeah, the hand. chip in the hand. I don't mean like potato chip. I mean like, <laughs> let's go to Walmart and scan our groceries. It'll be so tempting to, to get that thing. I mean, getting into any place and uh, paying for anything will need that. It's so if that's, if that's truly the case, we're going to be in hot water. Better start buying gold now. Start buying gold now. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> buy, buy gold. <laughs> buy gold. Buy gold now. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. We love all of our fans. And thanks again to our, our guests today.